Today I'm going to take you through my minimalist wardrobe tour. I got some requests for this video after I did the minimalist apartment tour and I figured I would share my wardrobe with you guys because I really don't have that many clothes. I'm going to show you what they look like in the closet. And up on the top, all I have is my shorts and my pants. Hanging up, I have all my shirts and my few dresses. And then in the drawers down below, I have my underwear socks, my gym stuff, and my nighttime stuff. So I can fit all of my clothes into a suitcase, which is really awesome for travel. And just to have less stuff, I feel like piling up stuff that you don't use doesn't bring joy. So I like to keep around only the stuff that I need and the stuff that I use. My rule of thumb for buying more clothes is I only buy something if I'm replacing something. So if my shoe has a hole in it or my pants rip or my shirt falls apart, I'll buy something to replace that item. But I try not to just buy anything for no reason. I only buy things I have a purpose for. My goal going forward is to buy sustainable clothes that come from ethical sources as well as shoes. I've been researching more into this lately and it's something I feel strongly about, but I'm not going to throw away the stuff I already have because I just feel like that contributes further to the litter problem and the pollution problem. Okay, so let's get into the wardrobe tour. So this is all of my clothes. I'm gonna show you my shoes and my jacket separately. They're right over there. I'm gonna bring them over at the end. This is everything I have and how I make all my outfits every day, minus what I'm wearing right now. So I'm gonna start off with my like undergarments. I'm not gonna show you guys all my underwear because that would probably be boring, but I do have enough underwear to get through the week and I have enough socks as well. My favorite things that I have for undershirts is these two bras I got from Target. And they are just kind of like sports bra or shirt material. They provide enough support and they're thick enough so they're not see-through. I honestly hate bras and I'm so glad I found these because I don't think I'll ever wear a wire bra again unless I absolutely have to. So these are awesome. I have one more bra just like this on. I think they're called bralettes. The one I have on has a little bit more support, but it's the same kind of shirt material instead of wire. I also do have one wire bra. I've had this bra forever, but I rarely wear it anymore because it's just really uncomfortable. So I really prefer these ones. And then I do have two sports bras. They're just old Nike sports bras that I've had for a while as well. This one's black. I have a green one that's in the dirty laundry and it's really sweaty, so I'm not gonna pull it out and show you. And now get us into the gym clothes. So I'll show you my gym clothes first. That's this pile right here. I have two pairs of gym shorts. They're like Nike, just spandex shorts. Actually, this one's Under Armour, this one's Nike. And then I also have one pair of just like athletic running shorts that are really comfortable. So I have three pairs of shorts. I have two pairs of pants here. One is full length pants, they're yoga pants. One is like three quarter length and they're both purple because that's my favorite color. And then I threw my t-shirt in the gym pile. This is the only t-shirt I have, like true t-shirt. And it's just a t-shirt I got from this company that raises money for national parks and forests to kind of preserve them. So I really love this shirt and it's really comfortable. I wear it a lot as well. My gym shirts are in this pile, so I'll show you them in a second. But I'm going to keep going with the pants here. I'm going to show you my shorts. All of my pants and shorts are from American Eagle and I've had them for years. So American Eagle tends to fit me the best. Going forward, I would like to find a more sustainable brand to replace this stuff with. But for now, this is what I have. So I have one pair of black shorts, one pair of jean shorts. These are jean shorts that you can either fold up or wear them long. So I really like these. And then the black shorts are pretty short, but they're really comfortable and they match a lot of stuff. So I love these too. These are my absolute favorite shorts ever. I've had them since I was like 18 and they finally gave in just a few days ago before I did this. There's a huge hole right here. So these aren't part of my wardrobe anymore and I'm really sad because they're so comfortable and they just look really good, but I'll have to replace them in the future with a more comfortable pair of shorts and I'm gonna be sad to see them go. I have two pairs of leggings and I'm actually wearing one pair. They're black. They're from the Airy line from American Eagle. I have green. I have purple, I have purple everything. And then I'm wearing black, they're the exact same as these. And these are really comfortable and they've lasted for a while. So they seem like pretty good material to me. I also have a skirt from American Eagle. And I'm not gonna be linking anything in this video because all this stuff is so old, you won't be able to find it. And I'm sorry for that, but I'm just showing you what I have to give you an idea. I have this skirt, it has a little slit up the side here, which is cute. And it can be good for summer, you can wear it with a tank top. In the winter, you could wear it with a sweater, it's kind of, all purpose and it has a little liner in it here so it's not too see-through. Then I have two pairs of jeans, one pair of black jeans, one pair of blue jeans. These are like stretch kind of legging-ish material and these are more like thick jeans that I could wear on business casual days. And then my least favorite thing, I have one pair of dress pants. I got them at JCPenney when I was 18 going for like my first interviews ever for real jobs. So they still fit thankfully 
and I'll probably keep them forever because I don't plan on doing a job where I need to dress up like this, so this will be my only pair. Okay, on to the shirts. So I have more shirts than I have pants because I feel like you can reuse pants and wear them more often and your shirts you kind of have to switch around. So I have a few black tank tops here. This is one that just goes with normal shorts or pants and it's just cute. It has this little rope tie right here. I'm not really sure where I got this, but I've had it for a while. I've had everything for a while. I don't know why I keep saying that. All this stuff is pretty old. So this is one of my favorite go-to tank tops. I have my two gym tank tops right here and I wear them like all the time when I'm at the gym as you've seen if you've seen my gym videos before. Here are some more dressy tank tops or tank tops that you can wear with like cuter outfits. This one's inside out, I think. One second. Okay, now it's not inside out anymore. This is from Billabong. It's a cute like belly shirt tank top and it ties up in the front with these little clasps and it's just loose fitting and I love it for summer. And then this is, I don't know where this came from, but this is just like a black and tan tank top that I like to wear with my black shorts or my black pants. This is my absolute favorite tank top ever. It's just a black tank top with a cool kind of design in the material on the front and down here. And it's really loose fitting, really comfortable. It goes with so much different stuff and I wear it all the time. And then here's like one of my dressier shirts. It's like a tank top shirt thing. And it's just peach or pink, depending on how you see colors has some black straps and it's cute to go with black shorts or black pants if you're going out. One more gym shirt mixed in here. This is just a Nike kind of belly shirt that goes with any kind of shorts you want to wear it with or pants. And now we're getting into my t-shirts that are kind of dressier. So I have dressy, I use loosely because I'm not a dressy person, but these are not like gym shirts. I have this one I love. It has the see-through sleeves. It's just a black t-shirt. And then I have a blue and a purple one that are kind of similar. They're not see-through sleeves. This one is a belly shirt. This one kind of meets the top of your pants. I like to wear higher waisted pants and like shorter shirts. I've gotten into that. Like in the past few years, I feel like it's comfortable and it just looks cute. So I have one blue one, one purple one, and I wear these a lot. Here is my one dressy shirt that I wear with my black pants for interviews and conferences and things like that. And sometimes I wear a few other shirts with like pants that look a little dressier. But this is like my true dress shirt. It's from Express purple it has this gold zipper that's cute and it's kind of long so you can wear it with leggings or black pants this is my sweater i'm not sure where this is from either but it's just a brown and black sweater and it's a really comfortable material it can go with jeans or black pants or leggings and i wear it a lot during the winter sometimes i wear a tank top under it if it's really cold but it also looks great with nothing under it it's, I mean, that didn't sound right, but you know what I mean. Okay, now we're on to the dresses. Now, before I show you the two dresses I have, I will let you know that I did have a summer dress that was kind of like peachish red colored, and one of our foster dogs literally ate it off the hanger, so I don't have that anymore. It was like a spaghetti strap summer dress, and I also had like a little black dress that I wore anytime I was going out and just needed a dress-up dress, and it ripped in the back, so I don't have that anymore. So I am looking for a summer dress and a, just a regular black dress for going out to add to these just for times when I would need them. But yes, this is what I have left. So I have this dress from Target. It is more of like a business dress. I wear it to like meetings and stuff like that, but it's also cute so you can wear it out if you want to. And it is like zebra print and has this little see-through part right here, which is cute. And you can wear it with flats, heels, or sandals because it can be dressed up or dressed down. <laughs> then I have this like long, kind of like a tunic sweater dress. And I love this, I've had it forever. I wear it in the winter a lot with black leggings and like boots. It looks really cute like that and it's pretty warm. And then last over here in the shirts pile, I have my new favorite shirt that I found when John was making his pile to donate and he doesn't really wear this. And then I saw it and tried it on and I got obsessed with it. It's an old like Urban Outfitter shirt and it's so cute, it's just a flannel. So I wear this either over like shorts and a tank top, jeans and a tank top, or with black leggings and a black tank top. I had it in my Canada video. That's the first time I actually wore it. And now I love it. So I'm gonna be keeping this forever. And I'm gonna show you my pajama stuff because that's also in this pile. So I have just two t-shirts that I wear to bed. I like to sleep in a t-shirt and then like underwear. So I don't really have pajama shorts, but this is what I wear to bed. This is actually from that same company. I showed you my other t-shirt is from the forest fundraising company. And this is just like a plain gray t-shirt. And then I have a pair of sweatpants. So like in the winter when I'm cold, I can wear them and I can walk the dogs in them. I don't usually wear them like anywhere because they're kind of see-through. They're not like the thickest material, but they're comfortable for like lounging or just walking the dogs. Now I'm gonna show you my jackets and shoes because that's the absolute last part of my wardrobe and they're right over here. So let me just switch this out really fast. I'll be right back. Nyla decided to join us here. She'll probably jump up here in a second. So first, yep, I was right. First, I'm gonna show you my jackets because there's less of those than I have of shoes. 
and I actually have like two outside jackets and a few sweaters. So first I have a North Face like kind of fleece jacket. It's just gray zip up. It's kind of like one of those Patagonia jackets. It's that same material and it's really warm so I love this. I have a black fleece North Face that I've had forever that I really love too but the zipper just broke on it so I didn't include it in this tour because I'll have to either get another jacket or honestly I don't really need another jacket so I probably won't even replace it. But I've had it since like 2008 so it lasted a long time. I also have this North Face like puff coat that I got for Christmas when I was like 18 from my mom. So I don't really know like what version or any details on it, but it's really warm and I usually wear these two together if it's really cold out. I wear this under this or if we're going somewhere really cold. So these are my two jackets. I would like to get another jacket eventually for this because this isn't waterproof. I would like to get one of the North Face jackets that have the waterproof shell and then the removable fleece in them. So I'll be keeping an eye out for a sale on one of those soon. I don't really care what brand it is. I just want a jacket like that. So I'll be looking around. And then I have to move poor Nyla to show you my sweaters. I'm sorry. She doesn't care. So I have this really light blue sweater. I mean, it's like light material. It is also like a light turquoise color, but I just wear it when it's not really cold out, but I just need to throw something on or I'm going out into a restaurant or something. And I know it's going to be cold. So I want to put something over my tank top. I have this Adidas hoodie that I wear to the gym and stuff. People always ask me about this hoodie. It's Adidas, it's really old, so I can't tell you where to get it now, but I love it because it's purple and bright yellow and I think the colors look cool together. And then the last thing I have is this big sweater. It's like a Santorini hoodie sweater. We actually got it in Santorini because it got really cold there. We weren't expecting it to get cold at night because we went during warm time of year. So we ended up getting this to wear and I've kept it as like a pajama coat, house coat type thing because it's so comfortable and I wear it all the time when I'm studying. Okay, that is it for the jackets. I'm going to grab the shoes from right here and show you this. Hey, don't eat that. We have a little shoe model here. We keep our shoes in the hallway closet so she's not used to having them out and I think she thinks that they're toys. So I'll show you these ones first and she's obsessed with them. These are just plain flats from Target. They're black flats and I wear them whenever I have to dress up because I hate wearing heels. They hurt my feet and I just don't really like them. So I wear these when I have to wear like business casual or something like that. Don't eat those either. And then I have a pair of like just black and tan flip flops. This is going well. Black and tan flip flops. Oh, I wear them in the summer. These are the only sandals I have and I wear them every day. You can't have the shoes. You know, they're not your toys. These are my work shoes. They're New Balances. They have foam inserts in them. And these are the ones I wear to the OR every day. These are just regular like sneakers from Nike and they're really comfortable and I don't wear them to work. So I wear them when I need something to wear with like regular outfits. These are my gym shoes. They are Nike Metcons. They are just the white and pink, or I think this is actually orange. But they're just like one of the versions from the last few years and I wear them when I work out. These are the only workout shoes I have. These are my hiking shoes. They're Merrells. They're non-leather. Took me forever to find these to find a pair of Merrells that wasn't made with leather. So these are like their vegan shoes, I guess, because they don't have any leather in them. And I wear these when I'm hiking or when we go on trips where we're going to be hiking a lot, things like that. They're waterproof and snowproof and they're pretty warm. So these are really great. And then before she eats all my shoes, I'm going to show you the last pair. These are my boots. These are just uh, Macaloo boots. They are like not real fleece or sheep or anything like that, but they look like Uggs, which I don't buy Uggs for obvious reasons. These are like the cheaper version. I just got them from Rack Room Shoes last year because I had the same hair the year before and they started falling apart. So these were the new ones and they're nice just to wear with leggings. They look cute with leggings and jeans in the winter. I actually do have one pair of heels. I just remembered because they're in the back of the closet and I never wear them, but let me grab them and show you really fast before I end the wardrobe tour. Okay, I actually only found one of them, but there's another one somewhere. I bet you she took it. These are just plain black heels. I have no idea where I got them. I have definitely had them for over eight years. And anytime I need to wear heels, like with a dress or something, this is what I wear. They're just, they're kind of boring, but they're cute and simple. I don't have any like fancy heels, honestly, because I have issues walking in them and they always hurt my feet. And I don't really dress up that much. I don't really like going places where you have to dress up. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know why, because I'm awkward. But anyway, that is it for my wardrobe tour. I'm gonna have to put these shoes away before she eats them all. But I hope that you guys found it kind of interesting. I, my goal was to be able to fit all my clothes into one suitcase and I can do that right now, even with my shoes in like my bigger suitcase. Now, if there's anything about my collection that bothers me the most, it is my shoe collection because I feel like it 
takes up a lot of space and there's a lot of stuff, but I can't really get rid of any of it because I need a pair of sandals, I need a pair of winter boots, I need a pair of hiking boots, and then I need a pair of work shoes separate than my regular shoes because work is kind of gross to wear your shoes in the hospital and then wear them home into the house and out in normal places. So I keep those separate. My gym shoes are really sweaty and gross and dirty and have chalk on them and stuff, so I can't really wear those with normal outfits, so I just have that other pair of sneakers. If you have any ideas for how I can downsize my shoe collection more, feel free to let me know, but I can't figure it out, and I don't really think I need to, honestly. I feel like I have a good limit on the amount of clothing that I have. Everything I have, I wear very often. As you probably notice in videos, I repeat outfits a lot, and I'm sure people that are around me notice that, but I'm not super into fashion, and I don't really care about wearing different stuff all the time. As long as what I'm wearing expresses my style and it's comfortable, then I'm happy with it. So I'm happy with what I have right now. There's a few more things I might need to add to the collection, maybe three or four more items that will just make things easier for me and not having to do laundry as often. So I'll probably get those. But other than that, I have all my clothes. They all fit in a suitcase. I'm happy with it for now. I don't need to downsize any more right now. And yeah, that's it. Again, sorry that I can't link anything because nothing that I have is new and I have no idea where you could get it. I'm going to be using more thrift shops in the future to try and buy clothes and as I said, more sustainable options when I need to replace things. Um, I've watched a lot of documentaries on the fashion industry and also researched it myself and it is a big contributor to pollution in the world, which I don't wanna to contribute to. So that is why I try to only replace things when I need to. Okay guys, Nyla needs some, don't bite me. Nyla needs some attention and some playtime because she's been alone all morning. So I'm gonna go play with her. I will see you later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And what do you think is the hardest thing about downsizing a wardrobe? Please let me know because I've been spending years kind of getting down to the stuff that I need and only the stuff that I need. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great week. I will see you next week.